Hi everyone, today we're back landscaping. I'm stopping by the coffee shop to start off my morning here, picking up a large cup of coffee and a bagel and cream cheese. Now guys, I'm trying to get an early start to today's project, so I actually drove the GMC Top Cake home yesterday here, so we're gonna head right over to local supplier to pick up the materials for today's job. This is gonna be a solo project here. We're gonna be building a gravel pad for a brand new bass boats that the homeowner just bought here, but let's Let's go pick up the three quart inch gravel and then go get the skid steer. Like always guys, there's a full mods list link down below. And if you end up enjoying today's video, hit the like button, it is much appreciated. Today's project being solo should be about a half day's worth of work here for us. We've done these before so it's nothing new, uh, but this is super exciting to be back here doing a project here and we are getting to use the GMC Top Kick. I actually really do like driving this truck around here. It's very handy and it, it does a lot for us as well and it works out well for these smaller neighborhood streets here but I always try to get over to the supplier as early as I can and that is why I took the truck home here. We are arriving at 7.05 and they opened at 7 so wow we came here five minutes after open here so we'll get loaded up here. I'm just gonna get one and a half tons here. Oh look at that. They got the front loader. I just have to go inside and pay for it. Uh, before they get us loaded up here, but this shouldn't take too long. They're pretty good about uh, getting us loaded and on our way. Three buckets and we're all set. It looks like one bucket was a half a ton each there. So three makes it one and a half here for us. You guys can see, wow, this truck does look pretty awesome. Now today we also do have a few part-time helpers. We have Farmer Joe helping us out and we do also have a few others here. I think one of them is going to be doing a small excavation job. We have two going out to do some dirt work and grading at a property here. So we're keeping busy, which is awesome. And I think later on this week, Buck's going to be helping us out. It looks like a lot of the employees are here and oh look at that guys they got the trailer ready to go here for me so we're going to be using the new case skid steer here it looks like where we'll use the bucket with the teeth here and oh look at that guys they even got me the plate compactor I would just put a tie down strap here so yeah I think that's everything we need wow that was very nice of them they're definitely trying to help out the boss today on this early morning here it looks like I will go talk with them really quickly just to make sure they know uh, all the parts to their jobs and then we'll get going on our, on the way to ours. After picking up the gravel and the skids here, here we're on the way to the job at 7.20 here which is pretty good timing. I always like to get to the job site between 7.30 and 8. We don't want to go too early since we don't want to be running the machines early in the morning here at the job sites here but this should be a fun one. And like I mentioned guys this is for a homeowner who's actually one of our weekly lawn care clients. And it looks like we're just now arriving at his property here. So we'll do a quick walk around and then it will get going. So here's a job guys. We're going to be building a gravel pad here for the bass boat and his new pickup truck. Wow that looks pretty cool here. That is a Chevy Colorado ZR2 here. That looks to be a pretty decent sized bass boat. Looks to be a Nitro Z20 here. So the gravel pad's going to come off from the back of the corner here. We're going to be coming 15 feet this way here. We're going to go all the way out to where the truck is right about here. And then we're going to angle it all the way over here to the sidewalk. So that is what we have to do. It should be somewhat simple here. Now he said he wants to keep the top soil so that he could uh, build a raised garden bed here. And it, I actually asked him to leave the truck and trailer in the spot here so we could visually see it. That's always a little bit easier than just doing it off a tape measure here. But why don't we hop in this truck? We'll move this off to the side here. This is a pretty fancy Colorado. 
Now the ZR2 guys is meant for off-road in here, so this is a pretty cool setup. He has an off-road pickup truck and he also has a nitro boat there, but let's get the skid steer going and we'll get right to work. I really like jobs just like today, especially when it's one of our weekly lawn care clients. We do the snow removal for them, we do the fall leaf cleanups and everything like that. We'll just get that play compactor off to the side here, but that's awesome that they call us when they want to do other projects around the yard here. But why don't we get to work here? I got the bucket with the teeth on, so this should help us out quite a bit. And you guys can see, wow, look at that. The bucket with the teeth really helps us out. There's a little bit of mud here. Hopefully, we don't end up sliding around with the tracks. Uh, that is also one of the reasons why he wanted us to b to build a gravel pad was because of all the mud, uh, especially in, in the early spring, that uh, uh, the tire tracks did create here for us. But you guys can see, this really works out well. Now, we actually recently picked up this K-Skid Steer here. So far, guys, I've really been liking it here. It's been a pretty nice Skid Steer. It's been working great here for us, and so far, the controls are really smooth here. But I think that's all we have to do. Let's get out the tape measure here. We'll just measure, make sure we're at 15 feet wide. Yep, and just a little bit of shoveling by hand I have to do here. I don't want to get too close to the house, and I, I definitely don't want to be hitting the house with the Skid Steer or hitting the siding, anything like that here. So I will do this last little bit by hand and then uh, we are ready to uh, put the gravel here and I think I will do some tailgating that would help us out a little bit. As I unloaded the gravel, I did a little bit of tailgating to help us out instead of having one big pile. Now guys, I think we have just enough if not a little bit extra here, but alongside the driveway guys where the asphalt is, it's about a 4-5 to five inch drop, so we want to make sure that is even compact that way over time. When he drives over, he doesn't end up cracking the edge of the driveway because that wouldn't be too good. That would be an expensive fix, so uh, we'll get going here with the skid steer. I have a little bit of hand raking to do right along the driveway and also alongside the house here, but guys, this was actually quite easy here. This is a perfect size skid steer for the projects we do here. It's not too, too big like the big, big ones, uh, but it's also kind of like the medium size here, which is awesome. So I'll leave a little bit left here in the buckets uh, for those extra areas that I think we'll need it here. But why don't we get going on the play compactor? This thing, guys, is so much fun to run, and it's so cool. We have small, neat mods like this here in Farms, but we'll get the compactor on, and you guys can see we'll just nicely compact this thing really quickly and uh, we'll be done before lunchtime which is great I'll get lunch and then I'll meet up with uh, one of the crews and I'll actually help them out it's a big grading job of a, about a, an acre property it's a brand new house that was just built and they uh, the clients want a new yard With a half day's worth of work, here we have it. We got the new gravel pad all built here for the new bass boats. So guys, let's hop in that truck. Let's get the boat backed in and see how it looks in its new parking spot. And just like that, guys, we have another happy customer with a job well done. This gravel pad came out awesome here, so I'm going to get the uh, skid steer loaded back up, and I'm going to head on over to lunch now. So hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Until the next one, thanks for watching, stay tuned, and subscribe for more.